Kiel 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 We got him pulled out and on our way out. Coming down the hill. Check. Caleb Brenderman for Bent Off Road. We get the rubber check in. Alright, let these guys through. You driving? I'm not gonna do that. again <laughs> all right we so, went and grabbed a jack we, we grabbed the floor jack out of our out of our uh, towing rig um, Ben does have an awesome jack in here it's a, a an airbag one 
and it would probably lift the truck just fine. It just takes a little bit longer when they're so heavy. It does great for off-road rigs, uh, and it would get the job done here. We just thought this might be a little faster. So we are going to explore what happened to the tire. What do you mean? Looks fine to me. <laughs> hey, if we had to, I'd do the pulls again tomorrow. We'll like that. Oh, heck yeah. It did pretty well. That's going at a bad angle. Let's let it down, pull it out. We can stick something under the front of it, even to, uh, like a piece of carpet. Let's try your beaver. It's got the platform, maybe it'll hold better. All right, we'll be back in a minute. So Ben, we got you a birthday present. We had a custom t-shirt made for you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here you go. There you go. This is for you, Richard. So when do we hang this from the back of the pole and burn it? <laughs> yeah, you gotta, it's your birthday shirt, you gotta wear it. Oh, I'm not wearing it. Yeah, you gotta wear it at least a day. Put it on once. What we should do is uh, put like a $100 price tag on it and stick it up there for sale. <laughs> that actually turned out pretty decent. <laughs> you gotta put it on at least once. Does everybody wanna sing to Ben? Yeah. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Benji Bear. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> All right, it's coming off. <laughs> so this airbag jack has a big flat plate on the bottom which should keep it from sinking down in the sand and that's why we're we're using it it'll take just a minute because the arb air compressor has to build pressure yeah way better than the floor jack yeah go beaver <laughs> Yeah, it was going up steadily and it just oh, stopped. Go. No, it just went up another half an inch. Oh, did it? Pressure release valve. Yeah. If we can't go high enough with the jack, we'll just go down with the ground. Brilliant. That, that's Are you actually. Are thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, I think so, brain. But uh, how are we gonna get the rubber nubbins on? The bead actually looks like it's pushed all the way around. Problem number two. No valve stem? There's no valve stem. <laughs> uh, I have spare valve stem. And I do have them. Okay, let's see if there's two of them in there. We'll see if those will fit. They're the bolt-in kind. So they've got two different rubber grommets. Usually you only use one. Okay. But okay. you can use both. I have before. Okay, that one's the right size. Okay. So we just got to feed it in from the back side. And then, so you don't do one on each side? You don't, you're not supposed to, but you can. I have done them on each side. Cause I thought that's what this was for. Uh, but you can do them on each side. 13's as big as we got. Nope. 14 or 15. Mm -hmm. Stay, stay. Is that far enough? No, not even close. There we go. I have a little sand in there. It probably already has a lot. How much of a squish? Um, not a, not a ton. Just a little squish. Okay, let's try that. Good. Yeah. Look at that lip in there. It sounds good. Oh, it's it's taking air. It's got enough sand for lubrication. It'll pop. Did you see if it was off the inner bead? I don't think it, it was. Wasn't. Yeah. 
Because that took air pretty quick. Yeah, that guy was like, oh, you just spun a bead. And I'm like, no, I don't think you did. No. Because the engine never, never went. Lunchbox, just speed this. Sure. That for the video now, we'll turn away. Satisfying. Climbers. It kind of holds air.